<laughs> it's the morning cryptos, the unbearable heaviness of being. <laughs> oh, what's going on, people? We got to look at this. We got to see what's going on. This is, uh, this is not a good looking thing here on a Monday morning. Uh, 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 start the music. <laughs> Well, we are obviously uh, down. Looks like we're going to have a recovery on Saturday. Yesterday I took the day off and this whole thing fell apart. I don't know. You guys need me. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> let's look at the newsishness. So what I got here, Bitcoin price, $11,100. Let's refresh it. What? Does it say, yep, $11,100. Okay, Bitcoin price plummets as Indian Bank shut down cryptocurrency trading. Oh, we have some FUD, people. Bitcoin price bubble could last 100 years, says Yale economist. Bitcoin price to skyrocket, expert has no doubt. Bitcoin will reach over 100000 Oh, there's some divergence of opinion here today, isn't there? Um, I want to hear about the... Uh, the Indian banks, but it's the Daily Express, so, like, I don't know. And, uh, Bitcoin to drop as low as a 1,000 this year. Uh-huh. Bitcoin price to skyrocket. Bitcoin to drop. Bitcoin to rise. Okay. There we go. Interesting. Bitcoin's at an all-time high, but is it about to self-destruct? That's, a, I think, probably an older one. Yeah, this one is an old article. Been on a tear recently, more than doubling to about $2,900 over the last three months. So, you know, I think it's helpful to look at all the headlines and to realize that nobody knows what the fuck is going to happen next. I do want to hear about the Indian Bank shutting down, so I will risk this crappy Daily Express thing, at least to see what the media is saying Many of leading private banks targeted and suspended cryptocurrency exchange accounts in a bid to... You've seen some incredible price movement in Bitcoin. Okay, so this may be something to check out, guys. Uh, Bitcoin exchanges in India are now under fire. See, I think this is going to happen all over the world. But I think the central bankers are saying... And this is my conspiracy theory, people. Okay, it's totally conspiracy th theory. Um, we don't recognize this as a legal currency as of now. This this is really, this is what's going to happen because ultimately cryptocurrencies will replace national currencies. And that takes power away from people that have power now. Um, and uh, look at this. Bitcoin, economic experts share Bitcoin opinions. We have Jamie Dimon there. We've got a bunch of other people who really don't know what the fuck they're talking about. You know, and these are the people that run the world here. These guys, the Gateses, the Buffets, the uh, Diamonds. These are really, you know, but they're not actually the people that run the world. They're the people that work for the people that run the world, right? So, anyway. Uh, okay, so people... Good time to buy some Bitcoin. That's what I think. Um, I think it is actually a good time to buy some Bitcoin uh, because the price is down, back down to 10000 and uh, it's lower than what Google was reporting here on uh, Bitfinex. Um, so, yeah, so let's... Uh, I don't think there's a whole lot of technical stuff to talk about today. It's just obviously down, and it has been... Tr it's now trending down. Right, this is this is we now have a couple of serious bottoms here that are lower. Um, 
And that doesn't mean it's going to keep going down. However, let's look at everything else and see what the, the overall market trend is for the day. Bitcoin Cash, down. Bitcoin Gold, down. But here's the, what is the deal with Bitcoin Gold? It never goes down as much as the others do. Like, what is the deal? Is Bitcoin Gold some kind of a magical elixir? I don't know. Dash, <laughs> down, but not down as much. Interesting. EOS, uh, pulling back a little bit, but EOS was just doing fine the other day. Uh, so I expect EOS to recover because it's not just a currency; it's a platform. See that? I think that's a good, it's a good hedged bet, you know, to not just be a currency, but to go. Oh no, we're not really a currency; we're a platform for smart contracts, right? And we just have these tokens which you use to pay for your smart contracts. It's not really a currency, you know. And maybe the governments will buy that for a little while. Um, Iota <coughs> down. Oh, I didn't say Ethereum was down. Ethereum down, but not down as much. We still have, you know, we have lower bottoms. So hopefully Ethereum will hang in. Litecoin down. Neo down. Omise Go down. Quantum down, but not down as much. Interesting. But the day is young. Uh, XMR Monero, down. These are the ones I watch closely, by the way, people. There's a lot of other ones, obviously. Ripple, down. Zcash, down. Let's look at Cardano. Against Bitcoin, not too bad. But against the US dollar, and all I have is a US dollar tether chart here down not too horribly down so okay well you know what I'm gonna take the day off because there's nothing I can do and I don't have any I don't have my war chest set up yet <laughs> so the question is I don't have any money set aside at this point to buy low because I'm new and I'm dumb and I didn't prepare for this and uh, so yeah, so on the spiritual, philosophical, emotional, psychological, philosophical end of it, things, um, this too shall pass, people. This is, you know, look at look at the market. It went up for a long freaking time. This is going to be a big correction. And at some point, it's going to recover. I don't think we're at that point today. But again, this is FUD. And the market usually bounces back from FUD. So this is another opportunity to get in low. You know, and the question is, will it keep going lower? We don't know, right? So that's the thing. You have to really make your own decisions and make your leap. Commit when you're ready to commit. Uh, and uh, so, yeah. Don't know what else to say, but I'm going to do some editing today. I'm going to do some music stuff today. I'm going to get my mind off the markets, and I highly recommend, if you're not in a position to get into the market at these low prices today, you take the day off. You don't sweat it. Just remember, this is a conversation between people all over the world, and ultimately, there's a lot more people than there are governments. And ultimately, the people will prevail, because this gives us power. And what else on the philosophical level? I think we should just start using cryptocurrency between each other on an unprecedented scale, right? We should go into every fucking store that we go to and go, do you take crypto? Do you take crypto? Do you take crypto? We should say to all our friends, hey, do you take crypto? We should say to the guy that rakes your leaves, do you take crypto? You should, you should say to uh, anybody you have any business dealings with, hey, do you take crypto? That could be the world movement. Do you take crypto? Do you, do, the, do you take crypto movement? And we could just have t-shirts printed out all over the world. Do you take crypto? Do you take crypto? And, uh, and we can make it a world currency and fuck the governments. <laughs> fuck the bureaucrats. Fuck the small-minded motherfuckers that are holding on to the short hairs 
of the world to keep themselves in power. <laughs> there. That'll start you out on a Monday morning. Cowabunga, everybody. We're going to make it. We're going to survive. We can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> Your mother and I are very proud of you. <laughs> so, yes, sometimes humor is necessary. And the preceding announcement has been paid for by a grant from myself. <laughs> As an independent human being living on planet Earth in the year 2018. So this has been The Morning Cryptos, January 22nd. This is week number four of my current 90-day challenge to go deep into the rabbit hole of Bitcoin and to see if I can climb out of that rabbit hole with fistful of cash. <laughs> Digital cash. Digital cash. And, uh, yeah. So that's it. Fucking FUD. <laughs> Anyway, that's it, people. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this, I can't imagine why you would. But if you did, just give me those two thumbs up. Just give me a thumbs up. Give, give me one, not two. Just one. I'm just doing it because I, I have two hands. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Share this with your friends. <laughs> if you have any left. <laughs> and let's start the music. <laughs>